Hello everyone. My name is Rick Jan. I'm a cloud solution architect for Microsoft. There's a very interesting feature in Azure Security Center called Just-in-Time VM Access. In today's video, we're going to show you how you can use Azure Function to automate the process. The alternative way to enable Just-in-Time Access is through Azure Security Center REST API. On the lower left-hand corner, this is the target VM we want to enable just-in-time access and open up port 22 for management purpose. In this solution, we're going to create an Azure Function app with proper identity and custom RBAC role assigned in order to make REST API calls to Azure Security Center. This solution is based on my GitHub repo. Uh, you can clone this repo and you will find all the necessary uh, resources in this repo. First, let's head to the Azure portal and create user, assi user assigned managed identity, the function app, and we're going to assign a custom RBAC role. After you have created the user identity, take a note of the client ID as well as the object ID. Then we're going to create the Azure function app Make sure to use PowerShell Core as the function app runtime stack. Then we go under Settings, Identity, User Assigned Identity, and then assign the identity we created earlier to this Azure function. Let's come back to the repo and we're going to create a custom role. In this PowerShell script, we define the actions and scopes for the custom role definition. Make sure you place the proper values in this PowerShell script. After the role is created, we're going to assign it to the user identity of the function app. Next, let's look at the PowerShell script for the function app. We'll go into this folder and open the PowerShell. We're going to copy and paste this PowerShell script into our Azure Function app. After you paste the PowerShell script, replace the variables according to your environment. Now let's look at the logic. Essentially, this PowerShell script is making a REST API call with a JSON body to the Azure Security REST API endpoint. First, we need to obtain an access token and then create a JSON body. In the JSON body, we're going to specify the port number and also the duration for the JIT access request and also specify the allowed address prefix. After we submit the HTTP POST request, we'll get a response. Here's the response after the function app has been triggered. Then we'll go into the activity log for the just-in-time access. You can see the request is a success. Now let's verify that in the virtual machine's NSG rule. So here you can see a new NSG rule being added by Azure Security Center to allow port 22 access from source IP to destination IP. Hope you enjoyed the video. In today's video we have learned how to use Azure Road Basis Access Control, assign a user assign managed identity to an Azure function that will help us automate the process of requesting just-in-time VM access in Azure Security Center. All right, thanks for watching.